Hello, this is Ronald from WP Plugin Info Card. I'm going to show you how to create a custom layout uh, for your, your uh, plugin info card. So it has default layouts. So one is called Flex, one is called WordPress, one is called Large, and one is called Card. And I'm going to show you how to create a custom layout. First, you want to create a new folder in your theme folder called WP Pick Templates into your theme and copy over a, a template from the WP Pick Templates folder. So let's show you how to do that real quick. So first things first, you can override the template by creating a WP Pick Templates folder inside your theme folder. It's nice to know what theme you have actively installed. And right now I have Beaver Builder Child Theme installed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my theme I created a file called wppick.templates and then let's go over and uh, get rid of this real quick. And then in my plugins, just go to WP plugin info card, go to the SRC directory, WP uh, wppick-templates and then I'm going to copy over the large plugin file. So let's go over and choose this, get our theme going and copy this over. And then according to the documentation, you want to rename it wppick-template-plugin-newtemplate or wppick-template-theme-newtemplate. Um, it's basically whatever you want. So let's go ahead and rename it Um, custom. So then when I open it, I'm going to open MVS code. Um, you'll see that you can modify this template card. So how do I get this on the front? I'll show you that next via shortcode. So here's how to display your custom layout. I basically just took this example here for some simple comma editing and um, going to copy it into Gutenberg real quick and the slug is going to stay the same. What you want to do is you want to change the layout to custom and it looked like my spaces got pulled out so you want to make sure your spaces are correct for the short code to work. Uh, let's see here. Um, so I update And let's view that post. And it should display a large layout. There we go. And that's a large layout. Um, for some reason, this is showing up here. But then. could see that it's definitely pulling in the right stuff. I don't know where this extra thing is coming from. Let's double check. Okay, it's coming from inside the plugin large one. So um, let's go ahead and modify the plugin large to uh, Let's just get rid of this banner. And then it's loading in via Ajax. So, okay, the banner's empty. So what we can do is we can take out this class here where it echoes out a banner. Okay, and then we have Austers Ronald Harika current version 2.3a, last update May 27th, and then it has the download link. So maybe we can get rid of the download link. Um, so we can take that out.
If you also want to remove the WP pick data credit, we can remove that out too. And you see that we've modified the WP plugin info card for the large layout. So that's how you do it. You just repeat it for uh, each layout option you would like. You can copy it with the card, the flex layout, um, and then even do this for templates. So hopefully that gets you in the right step. Basically what I did here, and I'll show you again. It's just in my short code. I just put layout equals custom. And then I made sure that my naming convention is WP template plugin dash custom. If I wanted to do the same for a seam, it would be WP pick dash template dash plugin or dash seam dash custom. So that's how you would modify it. Make sure this template folder is in your seam and then that you have this file name correctly. And then the short code you put just custom. If I name this, let's say, brand, then I will change this to brand, sorry this video is so long, I just wanted to give you a good overview of it. So it should still show up with my changes. So that's it. Thank you.